Hi guys, today I just wanted to show you how to model a park bench. Um, I'm sure many of you can get it on your own, but I also just wanted to show you a little bit about the curves, the curve, the curb feature, and what you can do with those curves, and how to manipulate one curve with another curve. And yeah. All right, so uh, let's get started. Just a second. Wow. Alright, so now let's hit X and delete that. And we want to add curb path. These are the easiest to manipulate because the vertices are right on this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to hit A to select, hit B for the box select tool, and select these four vertices. Hit G and Z to grab them along the Z axis. Alright, so now that we have that done, I'm actually going to grab this down here and move, move it and I hit E to extrude and that's going to create my curve now the only way you can extrude is by extruding the last vertice I can't, I can't extrude this one I'll just move it which does me no good alright so now that we have the basic curve then you can actually just right click and grab each vertice and move it to wherever you think you need it So just uh, right click G, left click. And if you don't like the position that you did it, just right click again. Alright, and then just extrude that one more time. Maybe once more. Alright, so that's the basics of our curve. So now an important thing to remember is to always, always, Edit this in the front perspective so that your vertices won't also move in the y direction, making this appear crooked if I hit 3. So if I did uh, edit this while it was slightly just like this, then some of this, like this right here, it would be out of place and it would look very weird. We don't want that. Alright, so just click on this tab right here, uh, hit bevel. 0.09 and hit front and back so it can bevel the, bevel the whole thing. Alright, so now let's hit one and now that it's beveled, we can still um, manipulate these vertices into anything we might need. Now, if this is what you want, then that's fine, you can just leave it at that. If not, uh, we can make it flat just like you saw in the picture. It looks flat, which is what we're going to do in a minute. Alright, so now that we have that done, we want to add, well let's tab out, add a Belzier curve. Grab that and move it along the X. That's our curve. Alright, now we want we want to right click on this object and bevel object is going to be the Belzier curve. So now let's hit 7. So now if I rotate this and I was to move it right up against this, you'll see that the curve is actually just like the curve of my railing. Just like that. It matches it. So now if I tab into edit mode and I click on something, it moves exactly right there. And I thought it would look, but that's not what we're going for, so just control Z to get out of that. Alright, so now it's at 7 again, and I just want to click on this dot right there, this vertice, and straighten that out. And there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to hit A to select all, 7, and I'm going to scale that down, and it will scale down to a railing size, which is pretty cool. We can still edit this, but I don't want to go into too much detail. If you don't like it, you can make it into whatever you want. Alright, so now that we have that done, let's right click on our object. The resolution is 4. That way, when we convert this to a mesh, mesh object, um, it won't look, take up too many vertices. Alright, so now hit Alt C and hit Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. So now if we tab into this, it's a mesh object. 
which we can now manipulate like any other mesh. Alright, so here's our first railing. Alright, so now to create our second one, all you gotta do is hit 7, shift B along the Y, put it apart at an appropriate place you think it would be good at. Good, oh, good at. Alright, so now let's hit spacebar and type in cube. Good to let's actually bring this up in the middle. Now go to scale manipulator mode and manipulate and manipulate that into a park parkwood bench. So let's grab that along the Y on the middle. Go to one so we can scale it along that way too. So now we have that, let's go back to the translator mode and just position that. See how that looks. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, so now that we have that, let's shift D along the X. And just put that at an appropriate distance. Shift D along the X. Shift D along the X. Shift D along the X. I think that's actually one too many. Maybe. Oh, well, let's hit one. And let's rotate that 90 degrees. I'm going to just grab that up. And once again, shift D along the Z this time, the Z axis. Shift D along the Z. Let's see how that works. Yeah, not bad. You can obviously, you know, change it to whatever you want. It's not the same as in the picture. I'll check close that up. Alright. So now that we have that, we can actually... What well, actually seems fine. If you don't want to, you can just uh, add the vertices and extend it up. But, I mean, I don't want the video to run too long. Last time, it ran 15 minutes. But I had to delete that because I didn't have the sound on. So, uh... Now that we have that, let me show you how to do a the legs. So now let's just add another path. Just grab that along that way. And we can actually control it with the Belzer curve. So it just gives us a thickness already. The same thickness as that. So we don't have to change that. Alright, so now I'm just scroll it. Scroll in here. And tab into edit mode. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make this very complicated. Just very simple. All right. So now I'm gonna hit, I hit Z to go into wireframe mode. I'm gonna grab it along the Z axis so they both go down the same amount. You can scroll out a little bit, see how big it should be. And I'm gonna hit S and scroll this in, maybe a little bit out. A to select all, just move it over a little bit. And now let's hit F12 to render that. And it's way over here. All right, it's not the same as in my other picture, but again, I don't want it to run too long, so I think it'll do fine. All right now, let's hit F12 again. And there we go. We have our basic park bench. Uh, this right here is a little down, but we can move that. Same with this one. Like that. Alright. We actually want to hit tab Z and Alt C and convert that to a mesh. Hit 7. Hit Shift D along the Y. Move that over. There we have our two curves. Alright, we actually just want to grab Shift D, grab these along the one. And just move it up some. So now if we hit render again, and there's our park bench. Um, we can add materials to this really fast. So just shift right click on all of your railings and hit join 
I want to add a material. It's actually going to be black. Yeah. So railings are black. And I want to pretty specular, maybe not so black. Maybe a little gray tinge. Alright, that's fine. If you want it reflective, you can hit a mirror. If you want it to look rusty, you can do a ramp, you know, whatever suits you. So now shift right click on all of these boards and hit join also. I'm actually gonna add a texture. Get that a texture before you add a material. A material before you add a texture. Alright, so now let's hit image or movie. Just download anything off Google or off the internet. Mine was no. Uh, yeah, that one is it. It was actually uh, going horizontal, and that made it look very weird. So I changed it. I just rotated it in the image, and there we have our park bench. Um, you can obviously get a new texture for this to make it look you know less like that. It looks very blurry. Um, you can also decrease this so that it looks more rusted and faded out, like this material. I like the material because it actually reminded me of like of you know like abandoned park benches. You know, I mean. Not abandoned, but left in without any care. I mean, do park benches really get any care? No, they do not. I'm gonna make that flat. Let me make that flat too. Yikes. Never mind. Increase intensity. And alright, so uh, that's how you model a park bench and just giving you a beginner's look to using curves. Um, Thanks for watching. Please comment below and tell us how it went.